Okay, solutions to quiz two for math 251. We're asked to find, here's f of x, find f prime of a using the definition of the derivative. Probably good to know what that is. Definition of the derivative tells you that f prime of a is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. So using this function with this formula, we get that f which colors f prime of a is equal to f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. These parentheses are important. You want to subtract all this stuff. If you don't distribute the subtraction sign, um, things won't work out. So you get this mess right here. Oh, man, this is the limit as x approaches a of this thing. So you get this. You might try changing all the x's into a's, and you get 0 over 0. You're disappointed. But you know that you can do some algebra to save the day. Um, this is equal to the limit as x approaches a of, see, I got x squared. I got minus an a squared. And I got minus 2 plus 2, which is just 0, over x minus a. And that's something that hopefully looks familiar from the perfect problem. Still can't directly evaluate that limit, but if you factor the top and cancel these x minus a's, it's a limit we can evaluate. This is equal to the limit as x approaches a of x plus a. That's just a plus a or 2a. Now find, get that same answer, but use the difference quotient to get it. All right, difference quotient. That tells us that f prime of a is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all divided by h. So let's try to get this same answer using our same function here, x squared minus 2, but this formula. So f of a plus h. Here's f of x. Change all the x's into a plus h. And we get f prime of a is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of a plus h squared minus 2. And from that we want to subtract f of a, a squared minus 2. And we want to divide that whole thing by h. This isn't a limit we can evaluate, but if we move some pieces around, a plus h squared minus 2, well, let's see, a minus 2 minus another negative 2, those will end up canceling out, negative 2 plus 2 will be 0. a plus h squared is a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. And you have this minus a squared here. And we want to divide that by h. Maybe to show another step, I'll say minus 2 plus 2. Here's the minus 2. Here's the plus 2. Still can't evaluate this limit if you change the h's to zeros. But a lot of stuff will cancel out. Minus 2 and plus 2 cancel. a squared and minus a squared cancel. Um, maybe I'll switch colors. Now everything up top, every term up top has an h in it, so we can cancel this h on the bottom with an h from both terms up top. And what we get is this is the limit as h approaches 0 of what's left in that carnage there, 2a plus h. 2a came from here and h from here. And this is a limit we can evaluate, change the h into a 0, and you get 2a. Same thing we got up there. Nice. Find the slope of the tangent line 2f when x equals 2. Okay, this is kind of testing if you understand this stuff conceptually. f prime of a gives me the slope of the tangent line 2f. Maybe f prime of a is slope of tangent line 2f when x equals a. So what I want is f prime of 2. Um, f prime of a we figured out was equal to 2a so f prime of 2 
is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. So the slope of the tangent line to f when x equals 2 is just take this 2a right here and change the a into a 2, and you get 4. Find the equation of the tangent line to f when x equals 2. Um, OK, we need a slope, which we have, and we need a point. Well, we know that x is equal to 2. And we can figure out the y that corresponds when x equals 2. If we plug that 2 back into our original function up here, f of x equals x squared minus 2, we get 2 squared minus 2, which is 4 minus 2, which is 2. So the reason I plug this into the original function is because the tangent line to f when x equals 2, to come up with the equation of that line, I need a point on that line and the slope. I got the slope from looking at the derivative, but to get a point on that line, I will use the point that's on the curve. So the point that's on the curve is 2, 2, which I got from here. So if I use this formula, there's a couple different ways to do this, but this is called point slope formula, and y1 is equal to 2, so I get, whoops, y minus 2, m is equal to 4, x minus 2, y, how about one more step, y minus 2 equals 4x minus 8, so y equals 4x minus 6 is the slope or the equation of the tangent line to this function when x equals 2 or x minus 6. Final answer, end of the quiz.